now in print, a detailed biography of the life and thought of Rabbi Meir Kahana, Torah scholar, Knesset member, and courageous Jewish leader. This is the book that I wrote about my late husband, Rabbi Meir Kahana. He's best remembered as founder of the Jewish Defense League and as an outspoken member of the Israeli Knesset. Libby Kahana has written an extraordinary book, a biography of her late husband. I wrote this book because I wanted everyone to know the truth about Mayer, what really motivated him, why he acted as he did. The book is uh, extraordinarily informative based on its uh, scope and detail on the life of Rabbi Kahana and his extraordinary commitment and courage on behalf of the Jewish people. His most severe conviction was in America in 1971. Mayer said to Judge Weinstein, he said, what you have to say to me at this trial is important, but more important is what the judge up there will say to me when I get there. Have I done what I should have done for the Jewish people? Have I done what I should have done for my brothers and sisters. I never condemn the Christian world for not doing for, for Jews because I don't expect anything more from them. That's not the real lesson of the Holocaust. The real villain of the Holocaust wasn't the Christian world, it was the Jewish establishment that knew that a Holocaust was taking place as early as 1942 and did nothing. Mayor often landed up in jail. Mayer wrote a letter home to the children from jail. He wrote, Not many children can say that their father is in jail, charged with the crime of fulfilling the mitzvah, do not stand idly by your brother's blood. Yeah, the book offers an insight and a survey of uh, Jewish American life and the problems and threats and yet the opportunities of Jewish American life that Rabbi Kahana exploited for good purposes. The FBI greatly contributed to the writing of this book. So I wrote to the FBI and I asked them for material about Mayer. And it was an eye-opener. First of all, they kept records of his speaking engagements throughout the United States that, that I had no other way of getting to that information. I received at least a thousand pages of information from the American government. And even when the JDL held a 100-mile march from Philadelphia to Washington for Soviet Jewry, where they spent each evening, who he spoke to and what he said at the various rallies that he held on the way, I had that from the FBI. Rabbi Kahana felt a responsibility for the entire Jewish people. Actually, I think every Jew is taught that you're responsible for your brothers. Especially when he founded the Jewish Defense League, he had seen that he could influence people. He had, he had learned that he had a talent for getting his ideas across. And once he knew that, he just couldn't desist from continuing. In Ethics of the Fathers, there's, it's not up to you to complete the work, but you cannot refrain from working at it. That was what I think guided him his entire life. I and we await the second volume that Libby uh, Kahana is supposed to write on the latter part of her, her mayor's life. If you would like to be in contact with Libby Kahana, whether to help with needed contributions for a Hebrew translation of this important book, or to send your own photos and recollections of Rabbi Meir Kahana, please send them to Mrs. L. Kahan at yahoo.com. This book is in Judaica bookstores in Israel and America and may be ordered via www.urimpublications.com.